Hello everybody, my name is Tommy, I'm a mask and puppet maker, and in this video I will be showing you how to make my favorite Pokemon of all time, Charmander. Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lab. Enjoy the show. Before we get started with this tutorial, I just want to cover some safety. Knives and scissors are very sharp and pointy, so please get an adult to help you. Always cut away from yourself, never towards yourself. And that includes your fingers. When using hot glue, always wear gloves to protect yourself from burns. Never touch the tip, so please be very careful with this. And I highly recommend adult supervision. Alright, let's start. Okay everybody, in this video we are going to make a Charmander. So start by making the head by crumbling newspaper into a large ball. And there's the head everybody. It should look like this. At the bottom you might notice just a little bit wider and these are going to be the cheeks. And now it's time to make the body. Okay, so here's the body. You should have a large newspaper egg. This is what you should have. Okay, so now we're going to make the arms. So what you need to do is you need to crumble newspaper. You'll need to crumble two of these. Should have something that looks like this. So you're going to need to make another one. We'll have two. Okay, so here are the arms. So you'll need two of these, so these are the arms. And now it's time to make the feet. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So that's one foot. I'm going to make another one. And there you go. These will be the feet, just like that. I want to start making the tail, so I actually already kind of started it. So you just need to crunch the newspaper, or you can actually roll it too. But this is kind of what you need to do. You just need to uh, scrunch some newspaper. Crunch this into the shape of a macaroni, okay? I am going to make this base just a little bit wider, and this here is going to be a little bit skinnier. Okay, so let's do that right now. should have something that looks like this. So this is just a little bit wider here and you can see the tip is skinnier while the base here is wider. This goes, this will be attached at the back of the body here. So if it's too long or if it's too short I can adjust that. Okay so now it is time to start adding paper mache. So I'm going to show you how to make the glue solution. You will need white glue and you're going to need some water. You'll also need a container and a large paintbrush, whatever size works for you. You need to mix one part water and one part white glue. So what I mean by that is if you're going to use one cup of water, you will add one cup of white glue. Two cups of water, two cups of white glue. That's what one part water and one part glue means. So I'm going to do that right now. So I got this little measuring cup here. So. We're going to start off by adding one part water. So we're going to pour that into the container. And now we need to add one cup of white glue. I'm going to do that. Now you're going to mix your solution. You're going to keep mixing it until it is one smooth solution. Okay, well that should be good enough. So now we have our mixture. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to use this glue. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, mixture. You'll need a paintbrush and you're going to brush on the surface area. Make sure it's nice and covered. Then you're going to cover it in tissue paper 
or toilet paper. I use toilet paper because it works really well and it's actually very cheap. So I'm going to put it over and then I'm going to brush glue on top. Make sure the tissue is completely soaked. And you're going to put another layer of tissue on top. And you're going to brush even more glue on top. You're going to repeat this process until you have at least three or four layers, okay? All right, let's get busy. Okay, so here's the head. Now we need to add Charmander's muzzle. Okay, so here's the muzzle, and it's going to be glued just right here, like that. So just kind of where I have the cheeks here, and then after that I'm going to cover this all in paper mache, and I'm going to start smoothing the head, and I'll show you what the head looks like when it's smoothed. Now I'm going to cover this in paper mache, and I'm going to smooth out this head. Okay, so I've uh, put paper mache over the muzzle and the head. This is what it looks like. I smoothed it out a little bit. Still need some more smoothing. Might have made the muzzle just a little too long, but you know what? I'm going to fix all that later. However, I want to make the bottom jaw next. Let's take care of the bottom jaw. So we're going to just fit the bottom jaw. We're going to take some newspaper. And we're going to just scrunch it on underneath the head. And that way we'll know how big to make it. This Pokemon has claws. So we're going to do that. We're going to give him some claws. There, I kind of drew it out. I made a mistake here, but you know what? That's okay. I'm going to cut this out and we're going to do the same thing to the other foot. And you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so these are the arms. I smoothed them out a little bit. Still need some work. But I want to add the fingers on next. To add the fingers, we're just going to brush a little glue on the top. We're going to scrunch some tissue. And that's one finger. We're going to put two more on the top and we're going to give them a thumb. And now we're going to add a thumb. Just like that. Now I'm going to cover it in paper mache again just so that this stays on. You should have something that looks like this. Do the same thing to the other hand except put the thumb on the other side. Okay, so this is the body here. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the legs onto it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the legs. So we need to crumble a newspaper ball. We're actually going to need two of them. So they're actually going to be glued more onto the front. They're going to be glued on like this. So you're just going to have them slightly raised. Okay, so I just covered this in paper mache, so now I'm going to smooth it out. Okay, so now we have the feet. Uh, the claws are nice and shaped up now. So now I am going to curve them so they look a little more dragon-like. So you just take some masking tape and you just tape down the end so that they look curved. And now we're going to take the feet. 
and brush a little glue on the side. Just take a little bit of tissue paper and just roll it like this. And just wrap it at the end of the cloth. This, these will look like cuticles right here. There, it's going to look a little more dragon-like since Charmander technically is a baby dragon. So I want it to look as dragon-like as I can. Now cover it all in paper mache. Okay, so now we're just gonna, I just cut this uh, open and we're gonna make a depression in here because uh, this Pokemon has teeth and I want the uh, mouth to actually close all the way. So now that I have it cut open, I'm just gonna take a little newspaper out Okay, so you don't, I actually cut it way too far back, so you only want to cut it this far. That way we can make the uh, mouth closed with the teeth on. Okay, so here's the head. That's what, it, here's what the head should look like when it's all smoothed out. So the head's pretty much done with the smoothing. Might do a little touch up later. This is the body. These are the legs here. Here are the uh, hands and the uh, arms. You should have a tail. And you should have some nice looking feet. So yeah, I'm gonna do a, start detailing the head a little bit more. So let's do that. And this is the bottom jaw. It definitely needs to be worked on. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so now we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, uh, fit the bottom jaw. I made it way too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trim this. You want to trim it to just right above here. And the puppet jaw will be installed at the back. So yeah, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start smoothing this out. We're not going to need this. I just made it too big. So away it goes. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to actually carve this out a little bit. So, so we're just going to cut that out, but not all the way. We're just going to cut it right down to about, don't cut any further than that because we, we actually need the bottom part to be intact. We're just going to cut around there. And then I'm going to cover this in paper mache. Notice when I'm cutting this way, I have my arm raised. So that way, you know, if this thing slips, my arm is out of the way. You got to be very careful when you're cutting with these knives. Always cut away from yourself. Make sure your body, every part of your body is out of the way. I can't stress that enough. Safety never takes a day off, ever. Now you should have something that looks like this. So now I'm going to cover this in paper mache and then we move on to the next step. So now we're going to detail the muzzle here. So we're going to actually cut. He needs to have a bit of a peak right in the middle here. So yeah, you just need to just, you see where I drew? Okay, you see where I drew? It kind of looks like a bit of a mustache, but this is, we're actually gonna just cut this off because that's the kind of detail that uh, Charmander has. Okay. So notice how I just kind of detailed the mouth a little bit. Gave it a little bit of a shape, and then now he's got kind of a smile on him. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to make the nostrils. So we need to uh, drill holes right here. You can use a knife. However, um, this is really hard. So it's probably going to be easier for me to use a carving tool but you can definitely use a, a knife if you can. 
But if you're going to be using the power drill or any kind of power tools, especially these, these uh, router tools, safety glasses, required, wear earplugs, they're very loud. All right, so there's the nostrils right there. Okay, so can, you can see what I did to the bottom here. So it, it may not be perfect yet, but I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit more. So the next thing you wanna do is you want to actually cut the bottom open, just big enough so that we can fit this in. And we're gonna take out all the newspaper. Make sure it's completely empty. So now there, the head should be empty and you can see that this thing is rock solid. Because the glue keeps it all together. Okay, so we're gonna make the eyes. So we just need to draw two ovals that look like this. This is one eye right here. So you're gonna to wanna to draw your eye on first. So it should be like the shape of an oval. Just make the bottom just a little bit flatter. I'm going to cut it out. Then I'm going to trace over it. And then I'm going to cut myself another one. Okay, and there you go. You have two eyes. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to make the bottoms for the feet. So if they're nice and flat, see they don't look that good right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the feet and we're gonna take a, a sheet of cardboard and we're gonna trace around it. Okay, so now we've traced around it, we're gonna cut these out. All right, so now we have the feet so just so that Charmander does not fall back, just to give him a little bit better support, I'm actually going to glue a heel onto here. So we're just going to trace around the heel, but just halfway. Right about there. and we're going to cut them out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take some hot glue and we're going to, go to glue these heels at the back like this. So I glued the heels on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the feet onto here that we have just uh, created here. So we're going to attach the feet. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is we need to cover it in paper mache. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so now I'm going to give these eyes some depth. So to do that, I'm just going to brush a little glue on top. And now we're going to scrunch some tissue paper on top of it so it's not so flat. There. Now you see that the eyes are not so flat anymore. So I'm just going to round them off just using my fingers. And now you can see this isn't so flat anymore. It's got a little bit of depth so they look a little more lifelike. Do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so for the tail, you're gonna cut the end off. Now, we need to make the tail lighter because when it's attached to the back of Charmander, I don't want the weight to pull him back, causing Charmander to fall over. So we're gonna take the newspaper out. So when you're done, the tail should be completely hollow 
And because it's all glued together, it all uh, stays in one piece. So yeah, I'm just going to do a little more smoothing on this tail. And the only thing that needs to go on this tail is a, is a flame. Now that you have the head completely hollowed out, the next thing that we need to do is we need to give Charmander some teeth. And we're also going to give him a bit of a tongue. That will be the last bit of detail before we start attaching things. That's one tooth right there. So you should scrunch it into the shape of, uh, I guess, kind of like a candy corn. So you're going to need two of these for the upper teeth and you're going to need two smaller ones for the lower jaw. I don't think it's going to be this big. So we'll trim that later. But you're, we're going to need two of these. And they're going to be glued just like that. One on each side. And we're going to need some much smaller ones for the lower jaw. Okay, so there you should have two larger teeth and two smaller teeth for the lower jaw. Now I'm going to make the tongue. So we're just going to fit it into the lower jaw like this. Now we're going to tape it up. So now I'm going to actually just shape it just a little bit. Like that. There, now it kind of looks like a tongue. So you should have something that looks like a large flat candy corn. Okay? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this in paper mache, just give it a light coating. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of detail to this. To make the tongue look more realistic, we're going to cut just along here, like that. So we're going to glue the larger teeth on the inside, right about there. So we're going to do that next. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. There. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it in paper mache. So if you notice that the teeth interfere with the bottom jaw, how it closes, what I did is I just cut along here and there. I just took these pieces off, I cut them and I covered it up. It still looks good enough and that way the bottom jaw can still close. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue the tongue in. Okay, so now the tongue is in. So let's glue the teeth in. The teeth are going to be glued just on the inside, like this. And on the other side. Ah, it's starting to look like Charmander now. Now before I cover this in paper mache, I actually want to get the eyes on. So here are the eyes, okay? We're going to glue them just like this. So have them spaced out a little bit. So we got one eye on this side, we're going to put one on the other side. Just make sure that it's proportionate. This looks about right. And there you go, we have the eyes on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover just the th this side around this paper mache. 
and then I'm going to cover all the gaps and the teeth with paper mache. Okay, so we now have the head and we have the bottom jaw. That really looks like Charmander now, doesn't it? So what we need to do is we need to take a paint mixing stick. These things are completely free at any paint department. And we need to install it at the back here. So we're going to make an opening at the back. Just a very small opening just so that we can slide this in. I cut an opening at the back. We'll need that. Now we need to close the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around here. I'm actually just going to trace around the whole thing. And now I'm going to cut this out. So I made it just a little bit too big so we can just cut it. It only needs to be glued. We only need to go this far. So, and after that, it doesn't need to be that long, but we just need to, we just need to, need to take the shape of the muzzle. So we're just going to trim that, just so we know what this will fit in. And we're going to take this, this end, and we're going to slide it in like that. Alright, so once we have this piece in, it should just go right right above the teeth. Now I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to glue this in. It will be a little bit tricky so you're going to need a glue gun. A glue gun is definitely going to be a really big help. Okay, so then we want to close this off, so we're going to cut a strip of cardboard and we're just going to glue that onto here. Okay, so I'm going to cover this in paper mache next, but first before we do that, I want to make the spindle. So what we need to do is we need to take another uh, strip of cardboard and we're going to roll it. Okay, so now I'm just going to tape this up and then we're going to cover all that cardboard with paper mache next. Alright, so here's our spindle. This will be attached to the bottom of Charmander's head. So now, all we need to do is just cover everything in paper mache. And then we are ready to... Uh, start assembling our puppet. I'm looking forward to that. Alright, so now we need to attach the arms. I just kind of flattened this off, so I just took a knife and I shaved it off and covered it in paper mache, so that way it has a nicer flow with the body. I'm going to be attaching it with chain. You can use pipe cleaner if you don't have chain. If you are cutting chain, you must wear safety glasses. I cannot stress this enough. You only have one set of eyes. If you have a piece of chain flying in your eyes, you're in big trouble. Okay, so we will be attaching the arms right up here on each side like that put some glue in it okay so now we're going to take the arm and we're going to poke a hole you can use wires pipe cleaner twist ties whatever whatever you have available now I'm going to make a hole I'm going to attach it to this chain. I'm 
Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is we need to attach the bottom jaw so that Charmander can talk. So we're going to need a paint mixing stick. These things are 100% free at any paint department. So what we need to do is we need to cut an opening at the bottom here. So this is the opening that I cut. So you just need to cut it at the bottom, not so much at the roof of the mouth. And there you go. Now we need to attach the bottom jaw to this paint mixing stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an opening at the back here. And then you're just going to slide it in. Now you should be able to just slide it in like this. We're going to use a hot glue gun and then we're going to glue it on here. Just don't forget your gloves. Now we're going to take our spindle and we're going to glue it. Just line it up with the opening that we made at the bottom of the head. Now we're going to hot glue it on and then I'm going to cover it in paper mache so that it stays on. Now we just need to light Charmander's tail on fire. So we're going to do that. We're not going to use real fire by the way. I'm just saying this Pokemon has a flame at the tip of his tail. Take some newspaper and just very loosely crumble it at the tip. So we're just going to tape this up. So we're going to take the newspaper and going to tape it up. It should look like this. So this will be glued right here. So we're going to glue that. I'm going to use hot glue. You can use masking tape if you want. Charmander's tail is on fire. Well, sort of. Now we need to attach the head. So now we need to cut a hole right at the top here so that we can fit the spindle inside. This stick is too long, so we're gonna we're actually gonna trim that. All right, it's time to start painting Charmander. Now we will be needing warm colors for this. We're going to need red, definitely orange, a light yellow, and we'll need just a little bit of pink for the tongue. We'll need some white, a little bit of black, and for the eyes, I'm going to, I'm going to give them green eyes because of reasons. And of course we're going to need glow paint for the tail flame. And we'll need a bright yellow for, you know, for the tail flame as well. So yes, warm colors is what we're going to need here. Alright, so that should be everything. So let's get started. Okay, so just letting you know, I kind of messed up on Charmander's head. His head was way too big and very disproportionate with his body. So I'm going to repaint him. So basically I made the head smaller and I shaved down his cheekbones. And I made the top just a little bit, the top of his body just a little bit wider. Because according to the references, he's got a, a wider body at the top.
the tail flame needs some glow paint. So let's bring him to life. Alright, so because this is a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon character, I'm going to make him a special bandana. I call this bandana a Kindle Band. And it's got this pattern on it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a triangle. And then when you unfold it, you should have an almost perfect square. So now all I'm going to do, I'm going to take some uh, fabric glue. You can use a sewing machine, it'll look a lot nicer. But I don't sew. I'm just going to use fabric glue. This stuff has a lot of fumes, so make sure you have good ventilation. Open up a window or do this outside. I just glued the bandana together. Now I'm just going to let this dry before I proceed to the next step. I'm actually going to use glow paint. I have it turned upside down because I don't want it to run out. And it's got a little tip here. And I'm actually just going to draw this pattern all over the bandana. It's actually a flame, so that's what it is. It's like a symbol. Though this is the kind of pattern that this Charmander wears. And this bandana is called a Kindle Band. Now what's left is to glue a small strip of cardboard just at the back of this lever here and that way this lever will not slide out. And there you have it. You now know how to make Charmander. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.